Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to cover how to record audio in your microphone and save it in a file. Uh, I found it very difficult to find any documentation on how to do this the first time I did this, so I thought it would be helpful to do a quick tutorial on it. So what I have here is Unreal Engine 5.1 and I have the third person template open. I uh, haven't made any changes to it other than adding a sounds folder, which we'll go over. Uh, so what we want to do is go into the third person folder, open the blueprints folder, and open the third person character blueprint. So once we have that open, the first step is to go over here and to the components and add a audio capture component. And you should see it under the synthesis here. And you choose it and you can rename it if you like. I'm going to leave it as is. And then go into the details of the audio capture and then go to the effect section. Uh, make sure the enable bass submix is checked and you should see a bass submix option as well. A submix uh, is a an entity in Unreal Engine and I'll put the um, link to the documentation as I'm really not a sound expert but the way I understood it is it acts like a river where you actually make the sound flow into it from one side and you can do some edits to it or even have multiple sound sources and mix them together and then at the end uh, do something with the output which is in our which in our case we want to uh, save it as a file so let's go ahead and create a submix so we can actually add it here so you can create a sounds folder like i have here if you want and you can right click here go to sounds and go to mix and you should see sound submix right there. So I'm going to choose sound submix and I'm going to give it the name of record um, right here. And, uh, and then I'm going to go into the details and change the base submix to the record submix here. Now, once we do that, we can actually go into the event graph here. Uh, we'll take the audio capture and we'll drag it in. And we'll take the pin from audio capture and we'll, we'll call the start function which would start the recording process. Now, uh, when would we want to do that? Uh, for now, we're gonna actually just implement a push to talk. So when we press a key, we would start recording and when we release it, we would stop. So we're gonna right click a search for keyboard and then search for the one key. And once we press the one key, we wanna start the recording process. Now we want to actually tell it where to record it for the output, which is the file that we want. So we're gonna right click and look for the start recording output node. And we're gonna choose it and we're gonna expand it like this. We'll connect it and you'll see an option here in the submix to record, which is the same one that we chose for the audio capture here. So at this point, uh, we are pretty much done with the recording, uh, but we'll have a print string here for debug purposes and for demonstration. So I'm just gonna say uh, recording, and I'll make the duration three seconds with the key of negative one, so it doesn't overlap with the other debug message we're going to add. Okay, so the next step is to code the released part. So what happens when we actually take our hand off the one key? So we're going to take another audio capture, or you can use the same one if you like. And we're going to stop the recording. And we are going to connect it to the released, just like this. And we also want, it, want to tell it not only for it to stop recording, but we also want to um, output the recording in a file. So for that, we're going to use the finish recording node. Like this, and we're going to connect it to the stop. And we can choose the type of file that we want. We can either have the use sound wave, which is the Unreal Engine type, or we can use choose a wave file. I'm just gonna choose that for now. Uh, we can give it a name. Uh, make sure you expand this as well because we need the other options. So for the name, I'm just gonna call it test. You can choose the path where you want the file to be saved, and you can also leave it empty and it'll save it in the slash saved slash uh, bounced wave files. So I'm going to leave it empty to show that, and then we're going to we're going to tell it what submix we want the output from, and we it's the record submix here. So again, with that we should be finished, uh, and that should be enough. But again, I'm going to do a print string, just for debug purposes, and we're going to say finish recording. 
and we'll give it the key of one so it doesn't overlap with the above one. All right, so that should be enough. We're going to compile this and we're going to go to the third person map and we're going to play this. Now, when I play this and I record something, you'll see there will be an echo. I'm not sure how it will uh, sound uh, in the video, but there is an echo whenever you record. So let's give it a try. Testing, Testing one, two, three. So as you can see on the top left, you see that the recording and finish recording played. So now let's go ahead and see where the file is. So if we open our, whatever our uh, project is, so in my case, the mic record tutorial, if you go into the save, uh, you should have a bounced wave files right here and you should have your wave file here. So if I play this testing one, two, three, we see that the recording is fine, but in the actual game and application, whatever it is that you're making, you hear a echo and we, let's get rid of that echo. So if you recall, when we talked about the um, submixes, we said that they're like a river, right? You make sound flow through it. So basically in our case, the input, and then you can do something with the output as well. So in our case, we just want to uh, have the recording in a file and we don't want to hear it back. So what we do is we create a new submix here. And then <clears throat> what we do, we pass the output of the record submix into the input of the other one. And then we go to the, let me make this a bit bigger. We go to the left plane right here and we go to the submix level and we reduce the wet level and the output volume. So what we're basically saying is we want the output of this to not get played. So we're basically muting it. All right, so if we save this and if we play again, this is a test. There should be no echo. As you can see, there was basically no echo and the file is going to be in the same place and we can make sure that it's working. This is a test. There should be no echo. And yeah, with that, uh, we're pretty much at the end of the tutorial. I'm going to make a tutorial next on animating the meta humans, just adding a simple idle animation. So if you're interested, uh, feel free to stick around and thanks for watching.